As the future of manufacturing comes into focus, what innovations will shape the next generation of the factory floor? Welcome to Factory Tomorrow. Presented by DigiKey. Powered by Siemens, Banner Engineering, and SupplyFrame. In this episode, we explore how intelligent manufacturing processes are bridging the gap between the digital and physical worlds. Alongside rapid digitalization and next-generation technologies, industry leaders like Siemens also recognize a new era of engineering professionals are here, and they are adapting quickly. Digital Twin is all about design, simulate, validate, optimize for both product and production. What makes Siemens unique is we have the most comprehensive digital twin in the industry. We're the only ones that have both the IT and OT. Everyone else has to partner. A lot of our customers, they're collecting a lot of data. The problem is they don't know what to do with the data. All they do is get fancy reports and just says, oh, look, you got a spike here. What makes us unique is we can now, with the digital twin, analyze that data. We can actually apply AI to it and say, hey, something's going on. We need to kick off a corrective action report for this particular motor, as an example. And then we can go back to the virtual digital twin and swap out and make changes and say, okay, what if we used a different motor or a different bracket if something was failing or a different machine or we introduced automation? What would that do to our cycle time? What would that do to cost? What would that do to our carbon footprint? Those are all the things we can do with that digital twin. Lift needs to be used more. And a lot of people go there initially to see what is the art of the possible. So we'll work with that customer and say, where do you start? Before they actually go ahead and implement something on their shop floor, they want to see it working. So we'll take that time and we'll identify what those use cases are, and then we'll actually show it to them at Lyft. DigiKey's out-of-the-box automation solutions allow manufacturers everywhere to take advantage of accelerated access to data and quickly implement the latest innovations on the factory floor. Everything's changing. One day we won't probably have to go into a store. It's everything's automated. You can't go anywhere without seeing some kind of robot, automatic car wash to automatic delivery of your groceries. In the industrial automation group, we sell PLCs. We sell a lot of sensors, and now we're starting to package those together for solutions. So if somebody wanted to automate their own consumer or semi-professional career, they can come to us, buy it all, and have a finished package so they can automate what they're doing in their own lives. We do a lot of AI in regards to how we get products in. and We can get reports done autonomously, automatically, without even having to ask anymore. Instead of having 300 people picking, we have 150 people picking, and the rest are doing the manual labor that was needed somewhere else that we can't automate. Yet. They're just making sure what they're seeing is working right, and the software is doing what it should, and the robots are bringing the product they need. Automation does create a lot of jobs. Now we're gonna need people to not only program it, write code, but they're gonna to have to maintenance it. They're gonna to have to watch it just like anything else, whether it was once mechanical, now it's all automated PLC controls. Products getting returned to DigiKey. A lot of manual labor in it. You can't automate it. It's all done by hand because boxes need to be looked at, boxes need to be taken apart. So those are still gonna be there for a long time. Our suppliers are blown away by how much intricacy there really is inside this building to help them get their stuff in, ordered, shipped, and packed out in the same day. The next generation of the PLC is going to be a virtual PLC or software-defined PLC. You can now literally, at a push of a button, move it over to the virtual PLC. That's game-changing because now you can scale as fast as you want and you can update as fast as you want. 95% of manufacturers are using or evaluating smart factory technology in 2024. Only 44% of the total data available to manufacturers is being harnessed effectively. We're sitting at the table with the top executives, talking about transformation products, talking about what that would mean from their organization standpoint, what that means from a people standpoint. We have the most comprehensive digital twin and they know that. And so they're always bringing us to the table and saying, okay, Siemens, we know you have the best technology. What should we do? And so those conversations are just so much fun right now. We've changed so much in the last five years and they're saying it will never move this slow again. We're losing a lot of tribal knowledge to people retiring out of the industry. The people that could just walk by a machine and put their hand on it and know exactly what was wrong, right? That is less and less of a skill that we're gonna have in the future. And I think people are gonna really start relying on the IoT solutions for machine insights and the predictive maintenance. 
Then I can actually capture a week's long worth of production, pump that back into this and say, now I can run the simulation against real production. Data is becoming the new oil. It's very, very valuable in how companies can get that data out of their shop floor, their existing assets, their greenfield assets, their new assets. Everyone is after that now. Companies are starting to realize that access to critical data for their organizations is not just a nice to have anymore, it's a necessity to stay competitive in this landscape. The average age of manufacturing assets in the United States is about 20 years old. The ability to extract data from what we call those data islands where the data is previously locked in, we can now give them access to that data so they can make those data-driven decisions. We are always pushing the envelope with the software that's developed and the automation equipment that comes out of Siemens. How do we make things more efficient? How do we reduce the dull, dangerous, and dirty? How can we save money? How can we make things better for people and for processes? The future of manufacturing is in a state of transformation, with digitalization being introduced at every step of the process. As technology advances, our workforce is evolving in tandem, driving the shift toward factory tomorrow.